Often we are in a situation where we would like to recall presets based on external sources like a preset, uh, like an OC application or a MIDI board. And to do this, there is the preset mapper, which will help you greatly with this because it allows you to map uh, chop channels to uh, specific presets. So how does it work? I have my uh, touch OC application here routed into touch. And as you can see, we have the different buttons here going from zero to one. And what we can now do is when we connect it to our preset mapper here first, and then drop the preset manager into the manager parameter of the mapper, we now get this, uh, mysterious looking grid of buttons. So in this case, it's a four by four, but you can adjust it to be whatever you like. Um, so what do we want to do? First, we might want to put in a uh, specific channel to work and uh, trigger a preset. So what you cannot really see here is here on top is a field where you can, when you click on it, uh, where you can enter a value. So for example, we uh, put in here the channel name. So for in this case, channel push one, we press enter. And now this map part here will react to um, uh, value change from zero to one. We can then down here press to select a certain preset that you, we want to have uh, recalled when this channel two slash push, push one um, gets activated. So in this case, as you can see, I just put in a value, uh, putting it from zero to one and the background changed. But this is kind of annoying to have to put it in uh, all the time by yourself. This is why there is this little uh, L button here. And with the L button, you can learn and assign a channel. So when we press it, you see it gets green and I press another button to look to the left. You see now it's like two slash push two and it automatically got assigned and we put in a new value, a new preset here. And now we can jump between different presets. Maybe we should use a preset here with different values. As you can see, we can now jump between the values. If you no longer uh, need the preset here and you don't want to have any preset, simply press the clear button and now you are good to go. You can do the same basically with every chop based interface you have. So for example, if you want to use a, a MIDI board instead, you can just use the MIDI in chop and route it in there and then use the learn feature to give it new values can also use it to trigger certain uh, faders that uh, the moment you use a fader certain preset gets triggered and you can also do the same with uh, toggles in this case only the first activation will be used enjoy